about the past time. Kill it if you have to. And that was apparently the point where people stopped paying attention to the movie. So I've seen on more than a few occasions people promoting this idea that the overall message of The Last Jedi is the killing of the old ways, killing of the past, but primarily killing the ways of the Jedi. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about every reason why that's just absurd. But let's go into where people get this idea from. And I think we should start the same place where people use this line from with Kylo Ren, because he's the one who says it. Not once, not twice, but on three separate occasions. Except, does it not dawn on the people who promote this idea that Kylo Ren is the villain? And typically speaking, the villains have the wrong ideology. I mean, following this logic, should we assume that Vader was right in his second movie when he told Luke that he doesn't know the power of the dark side, implying that the dark side was far more powerful than the light side of the Force? I mean, after all, he did just get done kicking the shit out of Luke, so technically speaking, should we not assume that he's right in this case? Because, I mean, after all, he's saying it. Or do we understand that because he's the villain, of course he has this ideology that we're, we're not supposed to think is true and reject that idea of? But I think this also goes a little bit deeper when you account for the fact that Luke Skywalker seems to also share in this sentiment by saying the following. It's time for the Jedi to end. I'm ending all of this. The tree, the text, the Jedi. I'm gonna burn it down. Now, never mind that Luke is saying this during the peak of his depression and having this desire to just stay out of the current conflict that's happening in the galaxy and just be done with the ways of the Jedi because he feels like the, the Jedi path has failed him, not just him, but the galaxy. Luke even goes so far as to tell Yoda that he's just gonna burn it all down and the Jedi library containing the Jedi text is destroyed. So clearly this means that the movie's overall intent is to destroy the ways of the Jedi, right? Except for those of us who've watched the movie and have paid attention, we know the exact opposite is true. Because Luke isn't the one that burns down the Jedi library. It was Yoda. But aha! That, that's clearly a case that the creator's intent is to destroy the old ways of doing things. The old ways that made Star Wars what it was, right? Right? No, because if you listen to the conversation that happens, what does Yoda tell Luke? Yes, yes, yes. Wisdom they held, but that library contained nothing that the girl Rey does not already possess. That library contains nothing that the girl Rey doesn't already possess. Fast forward to the end of the movie, when Rey saves the remainder of the Resistance and they fly away, in the Millennium Falcon. They show a scene of a drawer getting opened up and the Jedi texts are within. Yoda is speaking literally to Luke in this moment. Obviously Luke doesn't understand or know that the texts have been removed and of course what Yoda says does sound cryptic enough that that's likely he doesn't know that the books are not in the library. But the entire point of this conversation Yoda is having with Luke is to help pull him out of his depression. In this moment, Luke is concerned for the Jedi text. He even tried to run into the burning library to try and save them before getting blasted out. Thus also confirming that he had no real intent on destroying the text. And he even yells at Yoda about the importance of what those texts meant. But what Yoda is doing in this situation is telling Luke, don't worry about the texts. They're, they're not important right now. They're not important to you right now. What's important is getting you out of this depression, helping you through now that you've reconnected with the Force and I can talk to you again. And he gives him everything he needs to pull himself out of his self-inflicted exile and return to the galaxy and perform the greatest act as a Jedi to the very letter of what Yoda taught him from the original trilogy. A Jedi uses the force for knowledge and defense, never for attack. So really what Yoda did in this moment was just burn down an empty old dead tree. Add on to it the fact that virtually every other time Kylo and depressed Luke 
promoted this idea of killing the past and doing away with the ways of the Jedi, there was always someone of the light side of the Force pushing back against it. When Kylo first tells her the infamous line of, kill the past if you have to, Rey still pursues her training as a Jedi. Even when she goes so far as to listen to Kylo's version of events that led him to turning to the dark side and challenging Luke to learn the truth, upon learning the actual true events of what happened, which wasn't Luke trying to kill Kylo out of this jealousy that he had towards him and his growing power in the Force, she still commits herself to the ways of the Jedi by trying to go out and bring Ben back to the light. And even in their final conversation, after they're done killing the Praetorian Guards, and Kylo has announced he's committing himself to the dark side and he wants Rey to join him, Rey still defies him. It's time to let old things die. Snoke, Skywalker, the Sith, the Jedi, the Rebels, let it all die. We can rule together and bring a new order to the galaxy. Don't do this, man. Please don't go this way. No, no, you're still holding on! Let go! Likewise, when Kylo has his last meeting with Luke on Crate and literally says virtually the exact same thing he's been saying for most of the movie, that he wants the Jedi to end, he's going to kill the last Jedi. Luke himself, having come out of his depression, defies Kylo's desire by telling him the following. I will have killed the last Jedi. Amazing. Every word of what you just said was wrong and I will not be the last Jedi. Not only that, but after when all is said and done, the movie still takes its time to go out of its way to have this heartwarming scene of this child telling the story of Luke Skywalker as a Jedi to other children and continuing the legends of the Jedi and showing that despite Kylo's desire of killing the past, killing the ways of the Jedi, it's still going to continue. Now, if you can hear all those reasons and still in your heart of hearts believe that the overall intent for this movie is the killing of the past, killing of the ways of the Jedi, because you have this suspicion of this malicious intent by the creators, I don't think there's a reasonable conversation we can have because you can literally justify anything so long as you're suspicious of malicious intent. But the burden of proof to prove that that's true falls on you, the people who say this. And given that there are far better and more examples of good people within the movie pushing back against the villain's ideology, mind you, the only way you can reasonably assume that the intent of this movie is, of, is about killing the past and killing the ways of the Jedi is through mental gymnastics. But if you think I'm wrong, I'd love to know in the comments below. For everyone else, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, if you'd like to see more, please give me a like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video. See ya. Bye.